This is Tea Time on Floss TV Africa. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. And of course, on this show, we bring you the biggest sentiment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. I've got my co anchor to me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Oshunke. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Bad energy. Stay far away. You should stay far away for me then. I wasn't even talking about Because this you. morning. I don't know why you're guilty conscience. This morning. Of your face, wait, wait, man. Like, which you guilty conscience? Because I was just singing bad energy. Stay and it happened away. to make sense. Because yeah. this morning, your energy, eh? Uh -uh. My energy? Then let's but let's not. For you? Let's not, you don't think the energy is contagious like that? No. You don't, so it must be until it's directed at you before not for you feel people that energy. Are not relevant to the bad energy. If you're relevant to the bad energy, then you get some. But if you're not relevant to it, then you won't get some. So if you put yourself in a part of relevancy, then maybe you got some. It's just that. So you don't think that you could be in a negative space and it, even though it's not affecting you, you could be affected by that. Oh, that's the reason. You don't see it. could be affected by it. Joe, let's. Oh. <laughs> but you could make a point. It's all good. Go on. Let's move on. <clears throat> Bonner Boy's latest album, Twice and Still, makes it to top 10 albums in the United Kingdom. According to a tweet made by Official Chat and retweeted by Bonner Boy, Twice and Still is gradually climbing to UK spots number one, as it is currently number eight in the UK. Big deal. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, a, I'm not surprised. Not I'm not shocked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's African Giants. Yeah. I think I'm waiting it's for really more staying. numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more. Will I say I'm hoping he gets yeah. to number one. In the UK? Mm hmm. That would be good. Yeah. I mean, his song, his song is that kind of vibe, so they should be able to vibe with it well. Okay. Yeah. I mean, why not? Fingers crossed, right? Yeah. I'm surprised mm -hmm. we're talking about all of this without realizing that Bonner Boy is actually uh, a citizen. He has dual citizenship. He was born in the UK. He was born and bred there. He was sent back home. So this is somebody that has affiliations with a lot of UK artists. He's done a lot of stuff with getting um, collaborations with Stumzy, with Ed Sheeran. Well, you think that's because of his citizenship? No, that's not because. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that's because of his citizenship. Oh, okay. But that's somebody that has affiliations with being in the UK. That's somebody that was sent back home. He was in the news when he got back to the UK as well. When he was allowed to travel back for a long time, Bonner Boy could not travel to the UK. So this is even more of a big deal considering the fact that this is somebody that was seen as an outlaw in the UK and is back winning in the same UK. Like, that's the biggest deal of right, it all. Right, right, yeah. yeah. That's, that's badass. I didn't even realize, you know, that there was all that drama still going on, but I'm sure that's irrelevant to him. Either way, I feel like it's a big deal when you start to make a lot more noise in a place that's not your home. Mm -hmm. And I feel, I feel like that really registers the fact that you are doing something right. It's very easy to give Nigerians a similar vibe. And commonality sometimes is easy, you know. But once you start to w um, wander through... Break on, barriers. Yeah, like on known territories and people are actually loving you that much. I feel like it's a big deal. Like I said, I've, I want more numbers. I want more countries and things like that. I think it deserves that. Mm, it would be interesting. I don't know why numbers coming from Nigeria would never come out fast. I don't know. Mm. So I'm hoping to see that um, from a reputable platform because I've been seeing some lists and I don't understand those lists at all. So I hope that we get the figures from Africa as well because we would like to know what our giant is doing <laughs> in his home, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, moving on to the next story. Tiwa Savage releases track list of new album, Celia. Um, the 12th tw track list um, as released by the award-winning singer on her socials has got features with the likes of Sam Smith, Davido, um, Naira Mali, Stefan Don, Hamza, and others. Mm. Mm. It's like one more person, I think. It's, it's not even others. Because I can, <laughs> <laughs> there's just one more name that you haven't mentioned. Dies, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, first thing I, I saw when I saw that list was, okay, so Sam Smith obviously has mm. like a... It's like there was, a, there was, yeah, there was yeah, one yeah, plug yeah. that said, which Nigerian artist is interested to jump on this thing? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm sure he's on, from his perspective, he wants to work with Africans mm -hmm. clearly because it's, or Nigerians to be specific, there's quite a lot of um, collaborations. collaborations going on there. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm definitely looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to the one with Naira Mali as mm. well. Um, I'm, I, I, for some reason, I just feel like he, they might be doing something very different. Because when I saw him with Miss Banks, and for me, Miss Bang, I don't know, I don't know. In my head, I just feel like it might, it might surprise me what that sound would be like. So mm. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, I'm looking forward to the one with David Doe. 
currently yeah. clearly that's the one i'm looking forward to i feel like i know the kind of vibe that would come from a collaboration between T tiwa savage and naramali i mean tiwa savage is she acts portion all but then she can be really ghettoish in her song so yeah. looking at the 49.99 vibe and looking at what naramali gives you i kind of think i know what will come out of that so i'm so not looking forward to it <laughs> but yeah with sam smith definitely i want yeah. to see what they will do together because um she'll be able to flex her vocals and um, mm. show us the side that she doesn't really show us a lot because she wants to do commercial songs because i think tiwa savage has got um a lot of yeah days. that she isn't um mm. exploring a lot enough so i'm hoping she can do that with that song and of course all the singles on the um track um it's koroba on that list i think yes, it is but, yeah, uh, yeah it is. i'm not looking forward to koroba anyway so yeah mm. Mm -hmm. uh, what about whiskey i thought maybe whiskey they've done they've done their collaboration yeah, that's can. fast <laughs> yeah mm. <laughs> Well, for me, for Tiwa Savage, I'm worried about keeping up because um, Celia is a very deep name for you to use because um, Angela Kijo was the last person to have an album called Celia. That was the same one that she was nominated side by side with Bonner Boy for mm. the Grammys, Celia. Now, Tiwa Savage is also dropping Celia. Now, we saw what happened when Bonner Boy dropped Ye. Mm -hmm. And then Kanye, he, Kanye West dropped Ye. Mm -hmm. And we saw how he was streamed and how he affected his um, international reputation. Mm -hmm. So I'm just scared now that because I haven't listened to the album. I've seen the track list. You have a good lineup. You have good collaboration. You've listened to one song. But, hmm? You've listened to one song. I like Kuruba. I don't know why people what don't What about like the one with but, um, the sugar? She dropped two actually. There okay. was one with the, the sugar, that cube sugar thing. Mm. The lion on that cube sugar that we used to eat when we were younger. That dangerous was the love. dangerous love. That's dangerous also on love, there. Yeah. I did not like that song. I hmm. still don't like That's that song. That's too strike. Um, okay, too strike. <laughs> but 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 not for all. Why right? we? It's not fair to generalize. I know it, for her. I mean, no, I know. I'm just saying that we shouldn't we generalize it or even put a song down yet because um, uh. when I was out this weekend, I heard. Dangerous love and cool. No, no, like see, songs can and grow so on you. Means, when, when you are in a vibe or in the club they, um, they, see, and you are on that level, there are almost, you there's almost nothing you will not really, dance with, right? With, or with, dance with, to. with me, Houston, Celine Dion, and mm. I'll still be like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ah, watch me. I won't do house uh, South on African what, moves what, on. What, what, what on, you on? Ne, um, uh, Don't worry. It's day. just the environment. <laughs> okay, so but, back to what I was yeah. saying. So I'm worried about um, keeping up. No, it's like keeping up with the Joneses. And Angela Kijo hasn't been beaten yet. She's still one of the greats in, in the music industry, in the world so far, especially when African music is concerned. So it was Savage dropping an album titled Celia is what I'm worried about because are you going to keep up to that standard? Will I stream a Celia, Angela Kijo, and mistakenly stream a Tiwa Savage and be like, what the age is this? Do mm. you get what I mean? Like, I need, I just hope, but knowing Tiwa Savage, she always comes correct. I well, just hope that it's good with enough wisdom, to go and see With her. wisdom on her side, I have to believe that she's not trying to meet, um, what's her name? Angelica yeah. Joe's standard. Mm. But I don't Tiwa know, Savage I feel like this is, could be a PR stunt as well. Um, I felt that way when the album um, name came out, was it not early this year? And I was hoping that the album would have dropped by um, by now, I mean, mm. but it's still interesting. I mean, as of last week, I even thought the album was already out there. Yeah, so same. it's still interesting to know that they are still pushing it. And so if that, if this is supposed to be a PR stone, then the, the, the gap is getting too much because people have streamed silly and are still streaming silly. Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, mm -mm. The numbers don't go down when it comes to streams. Yeah, well, it kind of does. Surely, where you have something else to move your 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 if mind you away, except you are. Again, yeah, as long as it's online, it can always okay. be streamed forever. We'll see how that works for mm -hmm. um, Tiwa Savage, and hopefully, since you said there's a standard, which I, I wasn't thinking she was trying to meet that standard. We'll see how that goes as mm -hmm. well. Uh, I'm sure she. You don't think she was aiming high? To Angelique Kijo. <laughs> too high? Is that too high? <laughs> I think she. There is no dream. That That's is too high. W. As this long as your mind can think, as long as you can, there is a way. As long as you can think, aspire to perspire, to respire, so that you know on before if you make me say what I'm not supposed to say. Sakaji announces his debut book titled The Highest, so I guess he is about to become an author. Yeah. 
I, I like this. I, I think like I'd like to read this. I like this. I like this because um, I'm one of those that, that has always believed in um, celebrities telling their stories, in, especially when it comes to... In case of those of you that haven't seen celebrity stories, it's on Plus TV Africa. You can go to our YouTube channel and check it out. And um, you can hear the stories of all your favorite celebrities. So I like it when celebrities are able to put their life. It's like A Toast to Life by Juliette Ibrahim, the book. I didn't... I wasn't really a fan of Juliette Ibrahim until I read that, but because I read mm. it cover to cover, and mm. I was like, okay, this girl went through a lot, you know, mm. she went through the war, she went through homelessness, she went through a lot of, she went through rape, she went through heartbreak, like every one of us, they bleed, they breathe just like us, so it's good when we hear their stories, so that way, you know, so you know, be your own bad past, so mm. at the end of the day, I'm happy about this, so I like to see what a sucker there has to see about himself or what his life is about. I think the most powerful things about stories for me is that it helps me understand the person better. So even okay. yesterday when my housemates and I were having conversations, I just started talking about home and people, she, she, she narrated her story and I just felt like, wow, that makes sense as to exactly why she does certain things. Um, and for me, it made me more empathetic. I wish that I could be a, the type of human that didn't really need to hear stories before mm -hmm. I understood them, but I'm, that I'm just being That's real. Um, yeah. um, I feel like sometimes when you give, when you get to know someone better, a lot more patience and empathy is given to the person. So if the person has trust issues and you hear their story, it makes sense and I can be a lot more tolerant. So you want to be able to, to, their, to know second <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just saying that sometimes with these celebrities, with the people that I've, I've followed in terms of know, trying to know them better, okay. um, it's helped me to maybe not be as irritated at certain things that they do. Mm. So there's some things Did that I, I feel you like... Okay, Mark and what? I didn't read Tokyo Makima's book. I'm not interested in that it type of stuff. It won't help you. Don't mm. worry. It won't help you. <laughs> I'm not even interested in Tokyo Makima personally. I read this. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not interested. But um, I, I, I think that some, sometimes this, these celebrities do things for me. I have, I have quite a high standard for people who are privileged in general. Mm. So for me, I feel like some sometimes they do things that I wish, oh, you could have done better or like you should have stood for this thing or you shouldn't have done this and things like that. And every time I've followed up with the story, I've realized that their shortcomings are actually a reason why they've on that not that they necessarily wanted to be evil mm -hmm. or backfire or whatever so i'm hoping that with Sako Day, I, I really don't know much about him personally like his love life and he's even just as a man and how he's grown up and how he's handled life and everything so i'm i'm kind of looking forward to reading this book mm -hmm. okay unlike you though i mean i like your realness about it and how you really need to hear people's story to understand them but for me I think I've come to the realization that no one is perfect and of course they've had their life stories and it will always affect how they see things and the angles they look at um, issues from. For me, this book, I'm hoping that he will do a lot of justice to what it took for him to rise to the top, especially mm. in the mm. rap scene mm. for Ghana because um, this is going to be like the first artist in Ghana that's going to put out a book mm. and um, there are a lot of questions. I'm sure there are so many upcoming artists that want to be like Sakodie, not just in of Ghana course. but of course in Africa if yeah. he can answer the question based on um, how where how did you go, get from point A to point yeah. B not telling us grace of God and all like give them proper um, Details, business yeah. um, um, what they can take and say okay if I go through this it, it might get me here I mean life is life anyway but mm -hmm. they need to learn and I think um, Africa as a whole needs some uh, need mentors which is why you see people running around the people like Don Jazzy people like Emma I don't think they've actually really sat down to tell their story the way they're supposed to mm. but if this book can help them do that then i mean i, li I like the fact that you brought up perfection because mm -hmm. um <clears throat> a lot of public figures not just public figures a lot of us actually try to look like we're perfect mm -hmm. when we want to tell our story yeah but when people come up close and personal with us they realize that you're the worst person in the world not the thought but the worst you understand and at the end of the day is about is it your truth that you're putting in your book mm. because you may want to sell books but i think some of us appreciate truth right so if you put your truth out there and i'm able to see that you made certain mistakes and mm. you're not ashamed of your mistakes you own it but it mm. feels like you're already having an expectation of what your truth is so a person's truth can be whatever no, it is. i understand it could be no no really i'm not cultural. doubting i think, maybe, I'm, I'm I think you're just saying that. you want vulnerability yeah you want it to be yeah i'm not doubting that mm -hmm. what your truth you're putting in the book is not the truth but i'm just saying that i hope that 
within you, mm. you feel been the case of yourself. Like, I just put my truth out there. Mm. Oh, Lord, I'm so vulnerable. I don't know what's going to come next, what's going to happen next. Yeah. You know that vulnerability. No, I, I mean, I get it, but I'm just see saying it. there, no, there are still expect, people. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good to expect as well, but being vulnerable is, is going to be a definition of who wants to be vulnerable and how vulnerable you mm. want to be. There True. is what a, their vulnerable looks like. Do you understand? Mm. And if they are ready to be that vulnerable as well. So uh, don't have like an expectation of what his vulnerability should look like. That's what I'm just trying to say. No expectation. I just hope he does justice to his own truth. Okay. All right. All right. Tea time continues right after this very short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. I'm sorry, they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. music is for mature minded people. Like, I got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Cuba Gooding Jr. is facing new rape lawsuits. According to a civil lawsuit filed on Tuesday, the Oscar-winning actor Cuba has been accused of raping a woman twice in a New York um, City hotel in 2013. The woman, simply identified as Jane Doe, said she met Gooding in a Manhattan bar in August 2013 and was invited to join him for drinks at a nearby hotel. Um, Gooding asked her to to the hotel where he said he needed to change his clothes. The actor then raped her, according to her. The woman is seeking a jury trial as well as compensatory and punitive damages. Um, of course, Gooden's attorney says the allegations are untrue. I don't know. I think it's the same thing I'm going to say with Katy Perry's story. When there's unrelated cases and they're sounding the same, the chances are not always looking good for me. I think if you were, if there's no need for, there's no motive, there's no, what's the word? The person isn't affiliated to you so strongly. These people are not friends who correlate with, amongst themselves and it's happening in such a different timeline and they don't know each other. I feel like, you know, I can start to believe it. I feel even when, I'm sure if, if you had people call my name and they wanted to give something negative if the story starts to align then it's probably true that i'm actually like that but if you hear that the stories are different then you say okay it was just that day or it's just a person or things like that so for me when it comes to to rape and allegations and doesn't matter celebrity or not my stance will always be my stance until it is proven otherwise i will stand with the victim <clears throat> in this case until they can say for sure i mean he did it before where he tried to i think that ended up being said sold outside of court so i don't know what to say yeah, it's true ongoing. now it's ongoing, it's ongoing. Right? okay yeah. well until there's been proving otherwise on all those things i yeah he's my but the story you're talking about there's a, a bit of irregularities in it which is why it's still ongoing mm. so the lady as well is being kind of sketchy they're beginning yeah. to um mm. question a mental health yeah which mm. is also part of it based on our tweets then she put on a facebook her blog, as and well. her blog and all of that so. i feel if for me if you don't see that as people trying to get her down then i don't know i feel like that's a standard that happens everywhere happens well, there was also a, a as problem as with the camera as well what they got from um the bar is not the same yeah, thing in, as investigations. What she's I understand yeah. that that, would, that could be a problem, but to then it's it's like it's the most it's the easiest way for you to come out of something is when you try and paint the person like they're crazy. So uh, sure. what about people who had sure. mental issues that were now raped? What happens to that? Mm. Like, so enough reason. But let's sure. see. How in it as goes. much as um that's traditional, that's um, but I wouldn't want to place prejudice in that, considering the fact that the actual people were actually very very sick and need help and some of them don't know it or they don't even have the chance to get the help and they still come out you could walk around somebody who has mental issues just walk by them and they will claim you picked their pockets 
Not because you did, but because that is the illusion they have in their mind. So question, mental health is deeper than we can see. But I'm not going to try to put it like that. Is that I'm not just I'm just going to say that okay, let's just put that aside and look at it as it is a possibility, but not make it look like it is what it is. And um, in this case, like you said, the pattern is similar. Mm -hmm. If you keep going by a pattern, there's, like I always say, there is no smoke without a fire. So it's either you are one way like that or not like there's that at vape. all. Or, and there's vape. And there's vape. And there's vape. <laughs> and that one says, now still smoke. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so whichever ways, there has to be something puffed, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, mm. exactly. So as long as you're puffing and the smoke keeps coming there's out, no then we'll be without this sauce. It's okay. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you got it right. So basically, I think the patterns are too similar for us to just Dismiss. ignore all of these things. I mm -hmm. think it's time that we actually begin to look. Jack Gooding is one of our favorite guys, but we need to start looking into him as well yeah. and even start questioning his own mental health. He's not my favorite guy. You. I just, I his said, name is just no, Good, not, like Gooding. Good, good, like, no, I I, I, he's him. not my favorite guy. But I, I, favorite like, I think word. both of you <laughs> have said it, and I hope that this would reach a conclusion fast because. Um, there's already, I think it's just even two stories that are pending, not just one. The one we're talking mm. about is the most recent one. Mm. Before that one, there was another mm. one, and he was also not convicted for that one. Mm. So this is the third one, I think. And um, I, I just hope this is so that... Like Avi, like Avi, he started coming up like this, like this, like mm -hmm. this, and then we started saying more. And Gooding I think like that's also the power the of, of while, speaking too. out, that sometimes, even if it doesn't get to your con your intended conclusion of getting justice, you're still starting a momentum that is, you're like, something. you know, yeah, you're, you're actually giving voice to a lot of other people. So sometimes it might look like, it, it might be a bit discouraging, but I feel like if this is actually true, then the first person, you know, has done a lot for these other girls to give them this, the guts to be able to come out. Mm. Um, especially in a world where if you've, if you've accepted an invite, then of course you have a part to play, quote unquote, what the society will say it as. A lot of people might not want to come out and say something, but I think this is good. And for all the people on social media also, black Americans sometimes like to really play victim. It's, that thing is getting too deep. This narration of narrative of like we're trying people are trying to Africans. get black men down is ridiculous. I feel like any black man, pink, yellow, orange, who needs to be brought down is. And I think we're beginning period. to ride that wave as well, thinking that okay, because when we speak, there will be behind us saying that oh, they're trying to bring a black successful man down. Nah. So I think a lot of black people are also beginning to ride that wave, and they think they can get away with stuff because they feel like people will support mm -hmm. them yeah. because of that narrative that they're always Victim trying mentality. To yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, we're good. I, not not today. Not especially not with rapists. Like not with anything actually. There's so not many people crime. like there's no so many people like if that. You even, do crime, you do the time. Yeah. It's simple. Even 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 away from crime, you see some personalities or attitudes at work or whatever. I remember when I was in Melbourne, this girl always complained that she was a she was a victim that there was rape there was um, racism. racism. It's not true. She was really late to work. She was very <coughs> lazy and she was very rude. So I'm like, it has nothing to do with your skin color, darling. People just don't like that attitude. So I feel like it's very easy. For, for the world to define us from <laughs> from being lower than to then them being victims. And I think you can be better than that. Your standard can still be the same as everybody else, mm -hmm. even when you're black. And yeah. this sh that should happen with Gooden as well. Okay. Um, that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And please send your opinions via WhatsApp to 09065719 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Also catch up on this conversation and all exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always well. go to my co anchors Ife Omai and Ife Olu yes, and the entire production team. You can also watch the time on Out TV and in London on Ben Television. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe. Jeez.